Welcome friends. Topic of today's lecture is deployment of inferior vena cava. The inferior vena cava or the veins of the abdomen are formed from a series of longitudinal channels which develops in the embryo. As we have already seen in my previous video on formation of rectus venosus, there are two posterior cardinal veins, one on the right side, another on the left side. These two posterior cardinal veins, right side, left side. Near the caudal ends of the posterior cardinal vein, they receive blood from the lower limb through the external iliac veins and from the pelvis through the internal iliac vein. So these are the two vessels which are coming from the lower limb and the pelvis. Okay. Now the caudal parts of these two posterior cardinal veins are joined by transverse anastomosis. So here is formation of a transverse anastomosis between these two posterior cardinal veins. Okay. Now a second set of longitudinal veins develop in relation to the mesonephros of the body known as the subcardinal veins. And these two subcardinal veins are cranially and caudally communicating with the posterior cardinal veins. Okay. So here would be the developing kidney which will drain into the subcardinal vein through a mesonephric vein. Now, another set of longitudinal veins develops in relation to the posterior cardinal veins which is known as the supracardinal veins or the thoracolumbar vein. So, here will be the formation of supracardinal veins and these supracardinal veins will also communicate cranially and caudally with the posterior cardinal veins. Now some anastomosis develop between these longitudinal venous channels. The first one is the inter subcardinal veins in relation with the or in line with the renal veins. Okay, this is known as inter subcardinal vein. Inter subcardinal anastomosis. Okay. Another anastomosis develops connecting the supracardinal vein with the subcardinal vein just quadral to the renal vein. So here will be the location of this anastomosis on both the sides just cranial to the renal vein. This anastomosis is now called as supracardinal subcardinal anastomosis. Supra cardinal sub cardinal anastomosis. Another set of anastomosis between the cranial part of the right sub cardinal vein with the hepatocardic channel. So, here these two will be joined. This is the hepatocardic channel, right hepatocardic channel, which will ultimately form the hepatic segment of the inferior vena cover. And this anastomosis is now known as subcardinal hepatocardic anastomosis or channel. Subcardinal hepatocardic anastomosis. Okay. So three anastomosis has been developed. Now some parts of these longitudinal venous channel will disappear and the remaining part will form the inferior vena cava. So now let us see how this inferior vena cava will develop. 
the inferior vena cava is formed by six parts. Starting from caudal to cranial side, the first part of the inferior vena cava is formed by the lowermost part of the right posterior cardinal vein from the junction of the transverse anastomosis with the right posterior cardinal vein to the level of junction uh, supra cardinal vein with the right posterior cardinal vein. So this part forms the first part of the IVC. Okay, so first part is formed by right posterior cardinal vein. The second part of the inferior vena cava is formed by the right supra cardinal vein from the junction of the this supra cardinal subcardinal anastomosis with the junction of the supra cardinal with the posterior cardinal vein. So from here to here forms the second part of the IVC. So second part is formed by right supra cardinal vein. The third part, the third part of the IVC is formed by the anastomosis that is between the supra cardinal and the sub cardinal known as the supracardinal subcardinal anastomosis. So this part forms the third part of the IVC. So it is formed by supracardinal subcardinal anastomosis. The fourth part of the IVC is formed by the right subcardinal vein till from the junction of the supracardinal subcardinal anastomosis to the junction of the um, subcardinal right hepatocardiac channel anastomosis. So till this level forms the fourth part of the IVC. So fourth part is formed by right subcardinal vein. The fifth part. The fifth part of the IVC is formed by this anastomosis known as subcardinal hepatocardiac anastomosis. So this anastomosis forms the fifth part of the IVC. So fifth part formed by the subcardinal hepatocardiac anastomosis. The sixth part of the IVC is formed by the right hepatocardiac canal. So this will form the sixth part, this right hepatocardiac channel. So sixth part is formed by right hepatocardiac canal. So we have seen how the IVC has formed by six parts. This fourth part of the IVC in which the renal vein drain is known as the renal segment of the IVC and the part of the IVC which is formed by the right hepatocardiac channel is known as the hepatic segment of the IVC. So this is the continuation of the IVC. Now how the common ilex form? This part of the posterior cardinal vein quadral to this anastomosis forms the right common ileic vein. So this part will form the right common ileic vein. And this transverse anastomosis will form the left common ileic vein. So this will form the left common ileic so till now we have seen the formation of IVC and the two common ileic veins. Now how does the renal vein forms? The right renal vein is formed by a mesonephric vein which drains the right kidney 
and directly drains into the fourth part of the IVC that is the renal segment of the IVC whereas the left renal vein is formed by three parts first is the a mesonephric vein which is draining the left kidney this part along with a small part of the uh, left subcardinal vein along with this inter subcardinal anastomosis so these three parts will together form the left renal vein and we can see here how the left renal vein drains into the IVC now how the supraenals and the gonadal veins are formed the supraenal and the gonadal veins are formed by the remaining part of the subcardinal veins so here this cranial part of the sub right subcardinal vein this part will form the right supraenal vein this will form the right supra renal vein which will be directly drilling into the IVC and this caudal part of the right subcardinal vein this one here to here will form the right gonadal vein so this will form the right gonadal vein whereas on the left side this cranial part of this left subcardinal vein from here to here will form the left supraenal vein this will form the left supraenal vein and this caudal part of the left subcardinal vein this one will form the left gonadal vein okay so here we can see that the, the left supraenal and the left gonadal vein will drain into the left renal vein whereas the right supraenal and the right gonadal vein will directly drain into the renal segment of the IVC so now we have seen how the inferior vena cava the common ilex and the renals and the gonadal veins are formed from the these longitudinal venous channels in the abdomen thank you